Hi folks, Vern Rutherford here, coming to you live from the mobile mansion. Um, I got a little thing here I want to talk about. Um, this here, what we see on the screen here, is Windows 10. Now, I like Windows 10. I think it's a great improvement over Windows 8, and I even think it's an improvement over Windows 7. Now, that said, there's a couple things enabled by default that I do not care for. Okay. Um, and the one we're going to address here today is simply the ability for Microsoft to use your infrastructure, uh, your, your internet bandwidth, your computer, your electricity, uh, to deliver updates to other customers of Microsoft. Um, most of us would not agree to that if we're asked. Most of us would opt out of that if we were asked. However, Microsoft, by default, has enabled this feature. And so this video is about how you can disable that. And it only takes a second. It's real simple to do. So I'll walk through the steps here. Over here on the lower left corner of the screen, you see the new start menu that's actually like a picture of four little windows. So click on that. And then go up here to where it says Settings. All right, so once you get in the settings window here, uh, go ahead and click on update and security. Okay, go down here in the main body here where it says advanced options. Okay, now under advanced options, there's a couple little things here that you, you may want actually. And you know, if you've got Microsoft Office or other Microsoft uh, software on your computer besides just Windows, you might want to make sure that that's ticked here to say that you get so you can get updates for other Microsoft products, right? So I just thought I'd touch on that before we move on to what the what we're after here. Uh, choose how updates are delivered is the next thing we're looking for, so I'll click that. Now by default, this feature right here is turned on, and I believe this option here is selected. So what you want to do here is, well, let's go ahead and read through this here, right? Download updates and apps from other PCs in addition to Microsoft. This can help speed up the app and update, let, and update downloads. Well, isn't that nice? You can get faster updates by using other PCs. That sounds pretty good, right? Because surely they wouldn't use anybody's computer without telling them. The bad part of that is they're using your computer without telling you. Now when this is turned on, your PC may also send parts of previously downloaded Windows updates and apps to PCs on your local network. Hey, who has a problem with that? They're on my network, that must mean they're my computers. But here's where it gets sticky. Or PCs on the internet, depending on what's selected below. So by default, this is turned on, and I believe this is selected. PCs on my local network and PCs on the internet. So that means that uh, People you don't even know are going to be able to use your internet connection so that they can get their updates more efficiently from you instead of getting them from Microsoft's website, Microsoft's servers. So here you go. How do you get rid of that, right? Real simple. All you have to do is click on this button here where it says off. And then you can go ahead and take it a step further. You can say, well, you, maybe you want to leave it on. You just want to say, but I only want PCs on my local network. But I go ahead and turn it off altogether. And that way that's disabled and you don't have to worry about Microsoft stealing your bandwidth if you have a limited internet connection, a limited amount of data you can use. Some people do. Some people have satellite internet and then most of those plans have that. Uh, some people have a cheaper internet plan so they have a limited amount of data. So I would think if that's you that you would definitely want to turn this off so that you could use your internet access rather than letting people you don't even know use it. Hey, with that, I'll just leave it there, and uh, if you have any more questions or comments for me, go ahead and leave them on here. If you found this information useful, entertaining, <laughs> or whatever, go ahead and give me a like, a share, and subscribe to my channel here, okay? So, uh, with that, I'm out. We just close this box simply, and that is done. Y'all take care.